स्टोरी पार्ट वन हेलो किड्स यू हैव सीन इन द वीडियो ऑन वाटर एज टू हाउ एसेंशियल वाटर इज फॉर अस इफ देर इज वाटर देर इज लाइफ वाटर इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नॉट ओनली फॉर ह्यूमंस बट आल्सो फॉर एनिमल्स बर्ड्स एंड प्लांट्स ड्यू टू इंक्रीजिंग पॉपुलेशन इंक्रीजिंग इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन एक्सपेंशन इन एग्रीकल्चर इंक्रीजिंग अर्बनाइजेशन द वाटर लेवल इज डिक्रीजिंग is the water that is available for us clean and useful in this video we will learn about waste water and other aspects related to it to know more on this subject we take you to a village in haryana the objective of this video is to understand what is waste water hey sunil long time Where were you all these days? You look very tired and sick. Yes, my friend, I was sick. I had fever and vomitings. Oh, is it? Doctor told me that I had fever due to water pollution. Hmm. Look, sir has come to the class. Good, Good morning, morning, sir. Hello children Sunil how are you I'm fine sir I was ill the doctor said that I had a water bone disease Children can you tell us how we get sick due to water Sir when water is polluted then we get water bone diseases Correct people get sick due to waste water or dirty water we will first learn what is waste water can anyone tell me how the water gets dirty sir when we bathe and the water is filled with lather it becomes dirty water correct domestic water and the water that is generated after commercial use is called waste water or dirty water the water that comes out from washing utensils from bathing washing of hands washing of clothes etc is also dirty water yes this water contains vegetable matter oil used in food hair oil detergent floor dust lubricated soapy water after washing the human body this water is called grey water sir there is water that we used in the toilets too right the water released from flushing the human excreta and to wash is called black water or sewage children when it rains or the drain is filled you see that the water flows on the road observe this water write the color smell or any other observation of this flowing water and discuss it with your teacher all this water goes into the drains isn't it sir have you seen small and big pipes at your homes yes we saw them pipes that carry dirty water are called sewers one pipe is for good water management in our houses and other pipes bring out the dirty water from the house every 50 to 60 meters there are manholes where two or more sewers are found so this muddy water causes water pollution when mixed with clean water where does this water go you are right If there is no good sewerage system dirty water contaminates clean water and also becomes a factor for many fatal diseases old pipes leakage in sewage system industrial waste and human excreta directly going into the lakes and rivers pollutes the water many germs thrive in this contaminated water and cause various diseases the germs carrying typhoid hepatitis cholera diarrhea dysentery skin diseases etc thrive in such contaminated water oh i feel sick due to this 
Sir, then what can we do with the waste water? We should not let the dirty water go waste. By removing contaminants from it, it can be made clean and reused again. Hmm, can so much dirty water be purified? Yes, dirty water is sanitized with the help of a water treatment plant. But why sir, will we not get sick from reusing this water? Due to the continuous scarcity of clean water, the dirty water is cleaned and reused. If we do not treat sewage generated in large quantities, this muddy water will pollute lakes, rivers and groundwater without interruption. Therefore, water must be treated. How is this treatment done, sir? I will tell you about it tomorrow. It is now time. Remember, water is precious and we should understand the value of safe drinking water. Therefore, we should not waste water. Water should be used with caution. One should not be used with caution. Rakesh is right. See you tomorrow. Thank you, sir. Children, in this video you have learnt about waste water and its different aspects. Many diseases are spread due to water pollution. That is why dirty water should not be mixed with clean water. In the next video, you will learn about the process of cleaning waste water. See you! Waste Water Story Part 2 Hello children, you learnt about waste water in the previous video. This waste water, if found in any other water source, pollutes it. Due to this, the water will not be useful for drinking or for any other human use. It is very important to treat this water. Let us go again to Rakesh's class and learn about the treatment of waste water. The objective of this video is to understand how waste water is treated. Today, sir had said that he will teach about the waste water treatment. Do you know? When me and Sunil were going home yesterday, we saw an open drain. Dirty water was flowing from it and it smelt very dirty. Then we met the health centers Anganwadi Didi and told her everything. She was happy that we were aware and informed her about the drain. Children, what are you discussing about? Good, Good morning, morning, sir. Good morning. All of you please sit down. Yesterday, we were talking about wastewater. Today, we will learn about the treatment of that water. Can any of you tell me what substances can be found in wastewater? Pieces of clothes, cans, plastic packets, napkins, earthen vessels of clothes, papers, etc. Sir? Correct. Apart from this, there is also human excreta, oil and a lot of physical chemical and biological matter. That is why waste water is treated with physical, chemical and biological processes. Sir, after all these processes, where does this water go? After proper treatment of the contaminated water, it is recycled. It is used in plantation, irrigation, flushing etc as per the requirement. All this is from the grey water. Sewage mostly consists of grey water. And what does one do with black water? 
Black water is not reused in the houses due to the presence of bacteria, E. coli virus etc. in it. Most of the human excreta and black water is used as fertilizer and as nutrients for the soil. Is the treated water also released into rivers and seas? The treated water is also released into rivers and seas. The treated water contains small amount of organic matter and suspended substances. They are cleared by natural process. And quite often, chlorine and ozone are added to the water. This makes the water germs free. Children, water also naturally becomes clean in rivers. How is this possible? Sir, it means that we should not leave untreated water in rivers, seas, etc. Correct. It is an offence to dispose of the untreated wastewater into rivers, seas, etc. Wastewater already contains bacteria, viruses and other germs that thrive on oxygen dissolved in the water. This results in low oxygen levels in the water and aquatic animals of the water die. It contaminates the water and is a great loss. Sir, can you explain the whole process of wastewater treatment to us? Yes, this entire process is of 4 to 5 steps. In the first phase, sewage water is flown in the screen or mesh of the treatment plant separating some of the larger sized suspended materials like fibers, stones, packets, napkins, etc. In this way, about 60% of the suspended particles are separated by the process of filtration. That is why we should not put all these things in water. Correct. Due to this filtering, the machines installed in the steps ahead are also saved. This water is then sent to the grit and sand removal plant. Here, sand, egg peels, bone, bone fragments etc. are separated. It is such a big process. After this, the contaminated water is kept in large tank for sedimentation. The contaminated water is left stagnant in a large tank about 5 meters deep. Heavy particles present in the contaminated water settle down and relatively clean water at the top is taken for further treatment. The contaminated water in this tank is kept for at least 2 to 6 hours. Oil, fat, grease are extracted by the process of flotation. The primary step of treatment is over. water is mostly clean with this step. Yes, after this, the water goes into an aeration tank for the second stage of treatment. In this process, aerobic bacteria are used for treatment. Organic materials are decomposed by aerobic bacteria. Bacteria eliminates the degraded substance by consuming it as food. It means bacteria are useful for us. Yes, this process clears water to great extent. From here, water goes to the secondary clarifier. Fire. Here, the biological waste is separated. Water is treated with chlorine and is used for irrigation, flushing, etc. The remaining water is sent to rivers and seas. The remaining biological waste or sludge is sent to the sludge thickener. Here, anaerobic bacteria converts thick sludge into gas in the absence of oxygen. This is called biogas. Very dried sludge is used as manure and nutrients to the soil. Sir, this is such a complicated and a long process. 
we have to keep in mind that waste and trash is separated and disposed of carefully thank you for explaining this so clearly thank you for the information sir children we learned how to treat wastewater in this video in the next video we will learn about sanitation and cleanliness goodbye see you again Waste Water Story Part 3 Hello children you learned about waste water treatment in the previous video waste water has to go through four to five stages to be treated this treatment involves physical chemical and biological processes We all have a responsibility to have good housekeeping practices so that we can reduce or completely remove waste materials and pollutants from the water. The purpose of this video is to learn about good housekeeping practices and cleanliness and sanitation in public places. Today the Anganwadi nurse is visiting Rakesh's house and the neighborhood to supervise the sanitation. Come, let us go with her. The objective of this video is to understand how to keep the house and its surroundings clean to understand what is cleanliness in public places Didi didi can i come in Kamla come in what makes you come here Didi I'm doing house to house inspection these days it is raining heavily and water borne diseases are spreading Yes Rakesh was also saying that Sunil had been ill for a week and was suffering from cholera Yes Didi that is why I'm going from house to house in this locality to see if cleanliness and sanitation is maintained Hello Didi Hello come let's inspect the house many a times we throw many things in the drain and wash basin which contaminates the water Yes Didi sir said that we should not throw cooking oil and greasy things into the drain Yes rightly said we should collect oil fatty and greasy substances in a bottle or in a vessel and discard them with the remains of solid objects they should be thrown in the trash can Due to this it is difficult to separate the oil from the water Kamla we also throw tea leaves sanitary towels solid foods etc in the dustbin we know that if the cotton or sanitary towels are thrown into the toilet there will be an obstruction in the drainage you are right when the water in the drain stops flowing then it is difficult for oxygen to enter the sewage water oxygen is important for the natural process of decomposition everything is fine here in this house I'll go to Lata's house now. Hello Didi, please come inside. I have come to inspect your house. What is this? Here the pesticide is placed near the drain. If it falls into the water, then this pesticide will kill the germs which will help in purifying the water. Remove it from here. Yes Didi. Paints, motor oil, pesticides, medicines, etc., should not be put in water. Come on, I'll meet and explain to all the families of the locality. Let's go, Didi. As you all know, it is rainy season now, and many people are falling ill. Waterborne diseases are spreading. You all have to keep some things in mind.
Didi, I know that we should not defecate in the open and near the sources of water. Due to this, surface water and ground water can also get contaminated and we can fall sick. Sunil is right. There are many precautions that we can follow to prevent water pollution and prevent water from getting contaminated. That's why you people should not defecate on the banks of river, railway tracks, fields, etc. It only spreads disease. The government has built a lot of public toilets. We should use them. Children, can you think and tell how the sewage is handled in a plane and a big ship? Ramu Kaka is right. At present, there are many sewage disposal systems with less water usage that do not pollute the water. They are also existing in our village. Didi, we need to dispose of the garbage at the right place, isn't it? Yes, Lata is right. In public places such as bus stands, railway stations, fairs and crowded places, litter should be dumped at the right place. Toilets should be kept clean so that others are not inconvenienced. Plastic bottles, packets etc. should be thrown in the trash can at the right place and not in the water sources. Yes, contaminating wastewater is a legal offence. We all have a duty to keep the environment and water clean. I am confident that all of you will take care of the cleanliness. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you Didi. Children, in this video you have seen how to maintain cleanliness at home and in public places. It is a responsibility of all and everyone should follow the rules of cleanliness. We all should take a step towards cleanliness. Thank you.